What is up, everybody? Just a quick intro. This is part two or part B of a of a video I just split in half because it was running a little long. So this is actually a three part series, but this is part two of the first video. Just wanted to kind of update you. So we'll just take over where we left off. Uh, restraining, and then work on the red last. Number five, Dragon Man, Green Dragon Man, the one and only Wild Roar, in my top ten overall because of his unique ability. Using him with Cat War Pattern Bull, left hand speed, use defense and attack with him. And then the Red Blonde, always on the channel, one of my favorites. She is an incredibly powerful attacker at, right at the early stages in the game. Use Smiley Dawn with her, uh, get speed on the left hand, attack on the head, and around the right hand. And then you have the Red Guitarist, very important partner. Tons of different variations on how to build her, so we won't get into that right now. I'll show it on the screen, screenshot that. <laughs> Powerful healer get her up to six star third awakening as soon as possible You want speed on her left hand and get her hit points up as high as possible Now getting into the dragon man. These are another uh, Another really good, you know these three stars all the three stars uh, I happen to favor but green is definitely the most valuable Then red is the fastest of all the partners So you probably want to build him second get green to level 40 as soon as possible Third Awakening on green is really good. Same with red. Blue, I'm still still up in the air on him. You might want to feed him. I don't know. You're going to have to find that out for yourself. <laughs> as far as blonde, you want to keep red blonde. You want to feed the blue and the green to, to red. You want to focus on other healers other than green and blue. Now, if you have all of the partners, you sure, build green and blue blonde up and use them. Uh, th at Third Awakening, they have some unique abilities. But as far as... Um, you, uh, as far as a useful partner, Red Blonde is useful in all aspects of, a, of an attacker. The other two just are not. So don't even bother with them. Just feed them off to Red. And as far as the guitarist, Red is definitely the most important. Um, get her to level 40, 6 star, 3rd Awakening as soon as possible. Blue is also, it's the most common that you'll see probably. Well, green and blue are both common. But uh, blue also has a revive. So it also has value. Uh, so you can bring it up to level 40 as well. Her. Don't call her an id. Easy. What's wrong with you? Uh, green. I have a harder time telling you to do anything but feed green. Number 8 on the list is the wild boar. There's no wild in that though. Is the boar. The tanking popsicle maker. <laughs> what do I call this shit? <laughs> Learn how to play defense with the boar. Number 9 is the drummer boy. That's all I can think of right now. <laughs> it's a drum beater. Drum beater is another vital shielder. You want him with speed in the left hand and hit point on the head and right hand. Another hi hippo and, and whale would do well. Number 10 is the scarecrow. One of my favorites. The power attacker. You get him up to the third awakening. He turns into the grim reaper. Uh, <laughs> I've seen him built two different ways with uh, with six wolf and also with the badger wolf combination. Uh, left hand speed or attack and then put attack on his right hand and critical rate and critical rate damage on the head or the war patterns getting into the boar now this is one of those awkward um partners that blue is your best at first but green may be the best once it gets to the third awakening because it has a retaliation ability all three of them are powerful at the third awakening but uh, red is just a one-on-one -on -one attacker if i remember correctly Drum beater, red is by far the best. It's also the least common of the of the three. I would just just assume feed the other two to red. They're, the other two do have value. They, they I believe blue does it do an, an attack all. I think red may even as well. But uh, at least at first, feed them both to to red. Get the red skills maxed out because red is a major player in the game. Get it to four stars, uh, four, level forty, six star. Then you get into the Scarecrow, one of the partners that I used to say was trash, and I was oh so wrong about it. All three of them are good. If you've watched um, any of the upper stages in Adventure, you'll see what red can do, or blue, I don't forget which one. But anyway, green, start off with green, get it to level 40, third awakening. It gets the Reaper Cometh, it's an intense attack. I believe that all three of them will be good once you get them maxed out. Number 11. Red Tree Man. Today was the day that I got Red Tree Man, Third Awake, and a six star. 
you'll see something on that soon. Number twelve, probably Brutal Age is one of their one of their favorite partners. Will be the uh, will be the bear paw. Remember on the tree man, by the way, no speed on the war patterns. You need to get the other attack attacks in first, so they can start debuffing, so tree man can get his big attack in once it's third awakened. Number thirteen, the ghost. He'd be way higher on the list if it wasn't so hard to get. I uh, you get him through an event through the frost fire event, but you really just get a bunch of greens. I don't know. I haven't got it right yet. <laughs> and as far as war patterns go. I was too slow to even tell you about them, but I guess we have a second uh, For the bear paw you want his hit points to be as high as possible so you can use all hippo or hippo and whale and With the ghost well, we just missed it going back to Going back to the tree man uh, You know I have I'm debating on all three building all three to level 40 because of how good the red tree man's third awakened ability is um, he's done over 200,000 damage to a group. We got it on a video earlier uh, on the channel. But so make green first. Consider the others after. Bear paw. Everyone says green is the best. I've looked into it. It looks as it looks as if blue and green are very similar. All three of them have have value for sure. If you want to keep any of them, keep them all. Keep one of each of them. Get their skills maxed out. Get one of them to level 40. I, I believe that Brutal Age is going to do something impressive for the Bear Paw once they get to the Third Awakening. They don't have the Awakenings yet on them. Little Ghosts. You get a lot of greens if you play at the fire, the Frost Fire event. It does have a pretty interesting death. Um, uh, it goes out in a bang, let's just say that. But Red is an, is an incredible partner. It has been on the top of ranked matches for the last couple of months. It's a rare partner. It it revives partners over and over and over again. If you get red, you make red and you keep it. Hold on to it. Max it out with other other girls. The end of the list is coming up. All of these partners, I just put all three of each in because they're all that important. Number 14, number 15, and number 16. 14 is the double blade girls. You save all three of them because you need all three of them in the third awakenings you need all three of the marksmen for the third awakenings and you need all three of the fierce beasts that's a little bonus you need to put them in there too i do have war patterns up there if you want to just pause it for a second and check it out if you're interested in the war patterns just as as far as up top the reason why i wanted to put all three of each of them all on there is because if you haven't got if you haven't got yourself into the third awakening part of the partner game it's the next step that you're going to want to take it is a, a difficult and expensive road to third awaken to all of your partners, uh, but it's worth it. Believe me, it's worth it. So don't try to neglect that. So just to explain what's going on with this right here, uh, the red double blade girl, she, you want to keep every single one that you get. You'll, you can upgrade one to level 40, but you want to keep the rest un, untouched. You're going, to, you're going to feed her to the red four stars to, to third awaken them. The blue you're going to feed to the green four stars to third awaken them. And the red you're going to feed to the blue four stars. You're going to feed two of the of the red to the blue four stars to third awaken them. Same with the same with the archer girls, the marksmen. You want to upgrade one to level 40 or level 35, fine. But save the rest of them untouched for your third awakening materials. Your green, you're going to feed to the red five stars, two of them. Your blue, you're going to feed to the green five stars, two of them. And it will take two of the red archer girls to feed to your blue five stars. So blue nomad takes two red marksmen to get to the third awakening. Now you get to the fierce beast, same scenario with them. Uh, again, they're all pretty valuable. Green is probably the best because it has a revive. And But the same thing as far as the third awakening. Uh, green... Fierce Beast, you're going to feed to the red three stars. All the red three stars will take two fierce, green Fierce Beast. Uh, all the green three stars will take the blue Fierce Beast. All the blue three stars will take the red Fierce Beast, two of them, to get to the third awakening. So, I know it's a pretty long video. Uh, there are tons of information on it. Uh, so, hopefully, this helps somebody. I know I get a lot of questions about a lot of this stuff. I'm trying to answer all the questions that I get. So I don't spend most of my time typing to everyone, even though I don't mind doing that. But I, I just think it would be easier to have something that you can reference again and again instead of having to wait for me. Because sometimes you have to wait a couple of weeks. And I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so 
really hope it helped. I have, I, mean, I know this was 20 minutes, but it's actually part one of three, <laughs> sadly. I've got the next video has the rest of the three to four stars that we missed in this video here. And then I have another whole video where I go, where I've screenshot every single one of my partners. And I'm going to go over what I'm doing with them all. And that kind of gives you an idea of what to do with yours. I have asked everybody that I think is good. And I've just copycat them. So now you can just copycat me. So, hope you enjoyed it.